No, we got legends. We got legends in the game. Oh. <laughs> and we Thank are you. we are so honored to have you here tonight. But what I want to know is why the NWC Theater Awards? What does theater mean to you? Theater means everything to me. It's the breath and life of who we are as African Americans. You know, theater has been around for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. It's the one way to communicate without our voice being edited. That's why theater is so important. And the best thing about it is it's a one-take Erskine. You got to get it right, and that's yeah. it. With everything else, it's written in stone, and you, you don't ever relive that moment. You relive it, you watch it. But I'll tell you what, theater, what makes it so special is you got to do it. It's one time, and you can get your best time. What do you think about that? Uh, theater is my, my favorite thing to do is musical theater. Now, I'm going to tell you this. I said you guys are legends in the game, and that, I, I mean that. And this is what I'm going to say. For the youngsters that don't know who you are, talk about some of the biggest projects that you've been in. Well, the youngsters, there are some of them that know me from my wife and kids, but originally most people remember me from Rock, where I played Eleanor. Um, a lot of them know me from the Waterfalls video, TLC, I was the mother that lost the child. And uh, a lot of them know me from several other movies, from Who Made the Potato Salad to Uncle P. I recently was in uh, Tyler Perry's Temptation, right. Confessions of a Marriage Counselor, right. and I'll appear in the new Nina Simone movie, and uh, uh, TV One is doing a, a Christmas movie that's supposed to air December the 6th. So I want everybody to go to my website, yep. ellajoyce.com, and you can see what all I got going on. Okay. You know... Like I said, legends in the game. Well, next year I'll be celebrating 50 years with the Fifth Dimension. I'm the only original that's in the group, but the group has been received very well. As a matter of fact, we performed right here about four months ago. Really? Songs. Yes. 50 years. That's right. That amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. And still going. And still, still going. talk about a good 30, 40. <laughs> right. And so, and so, how, so tell me about that. Uh, now, now, I don't, this is Tag Hollywood. We, you know, do red carpets and things like that. I'm not, this is not style and beauty, but I'm trying to get some tips. Well, I tell the young people you have to take care of yourself mentally, physically, and spiritually. You know, I exercise, I eat well, you know, eat things that are good for me, don't smoke, drink, or do drugs. You take care of yourself, plus God is number one in my life. And you know, and you know, for both of you know, being around so long, you guys have seen a lot of people come and go. Um, health drugs, career, you know, career disasters. Well, just give me some advice for someone like myself. I know I look like a kid, but I'm 39. I know, I'm 39. But, you know, for the younger generation, because you guys watch it, you see them come and go and disappear. Any career advice for them? First of all, uh, know what, where your talent lies and nourish it. You have to, I still take lessons. I still take voice lessons and dance lessons. You know, continue to study. Don't think you know it all. You can always learn. What would you say, Ellen? Well, I would say for any person that wants to go into any end of entertainment, stay true to yourself. Stay true to the types of plays you like, the types of roles you like, the type of music you like. Just stay true to yourself. Don't let people twist you up, make you think you have to be something else. Or, and take business courses because it is show business. Business. Right. business. <laughs> where, where, where are you guys from originally? I'm originally from Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania? Detroit, Michigan. Uh, D-Town. Soul City. Because you know, you know what I tell people? Because we all come from out here from somewhere else. St. Louis, Missouri. And I always tell people, my word of advice is, you got to know who you are before you get here or you're going to lose yourself. Now you just said the best advice that there is. You think so? Asking us. That's, that's it right there. But I'm, 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 I'm trying to look this good when I'm this age. But thanks so much. Well, how can we get a hold of you? Twitter, Instagram? I'm on Facebook. I also have a website, ellajoyce.com. I also have another website, funkasize.com, where I'm teaching dance exercise classes, teaching all the old dances from the 60s and 70s, and the music from the 60s and 70s, trying to teach everybody how to appreciate and reclaim our culture, because our music has been polluted throughout so many other different sort of areas. And what I'm trying to do is bring everybody back to the root where it all started.
James Brown, you know. Right, right, right. Okay. Chuck Berry, all those. Yeah, yeah, you know. Motown sound. I came up out of Detroit, Michigan. Right. So I'm original soul sister. I think you should turn that into a reality show. Okay. Yeah, have them come and right. follow me into my fungicide right. class. I really think that like there's a reality show in that somewhere. Okay. So where can we find you at? Well, I have a Facebook page, although I don't go on very often because I'm very busy. But they can also re reach me at florencelarue.com or thefifthdimension.org. That's F-L-O-R-E-N-C-E-L-A-R-U-E.com. All right. Thank you, guys. So I just want to say I was the biggest Fifth Dimension fan. Uh, oh, yeah? I just got to say that. I want to make sure we put that into. Right. Guys, thank you so much. Okay. Enjoy the show. Tonight. Thank you. All right.